well, I think since uh, peace studies in general is important for the awareness of social relations in all communities and societies, it is important everywhere. Uh, when I was invited to come to Brazil and to contribute to the foundation of this new postgraduate uh, program, I was quite surprised when I heard that this is the first one in such a big country as Brazil. Uh, because, I mean, I'm not an expert on this country, but after all that I know, I cannot, cannot say that this is a country that is free of conflicts. I know that Brazilians like their the stereotype that they have not been involved in uh, wars for a long time and many more things. But on the other hand, Brazil is one of the, uh, well, it's on the one hand, Brazil is charged uh, with a history that has a lot to do with at least structural violence, but very often this uh, results also in physical violence of individuals, of groups, of uh, sectors of the society. The distribution of income in Brazil is one of the most unbalanced uh, in the Americas. It is uh, constantly for a long time among the top three if it comes to unbalanced uh, uh, relations of income. So this, of course, has, uh, is not only a statistical uh, factor, but this has a lot to do with the social circumstances in the country. If we look at the distribution of property, if we look uh, into the organization of the political life, I think uh, Brazil, as the rest, I would say, 200 countries in the world, has still a lot to do in order to get uh, to a situation where you just can lean back and say, what a peaceful country. So there are a lot of things that have to be done. Uh, then there is the psychological aspect that this is a society that has not overcome uh, slavery for too, uh, too much time. It's quite recent yeah, in a human uh, dimension. We know that highly traumatic experiences in societies uh, echo for three to four generations. If you take that into consideration, it's quite obvious that there is still the effect of this history in the current uh, society. Then even more, if I uh, go to history, uh, I found from my experiences uh, in the Americas that the question of the uh, period of the dictatorship has been less addressed in the civil society in Brazil than in many neighboring countries. So there is there are open wounds in the in the social society. Uh, there are lacks of reconciliation between different sectors of the society and all of that uh, asks for and requires uh, a systematic treatment and systematic healing of the society and systematic implies academic knowledge. So how do you want to do that if you don't have the systematic knowledge available? And therefore, I think it is extremely important that uh, this program exists now. I have also seen that there is an enormous demand for such a program because uh, there are initiatives. So it's not that I come here as a, as a stranger and tell the Brazilians what's wrong with them. I see, for example, that there is a strong dynamic in the movement of restorative justice. In this regard, I see more dynamics in Brazil than in many other countries that I know. So what do I learn from that? I learn that people want to work in this field, that there is a demand. People want to, on the one hand, be activists of restorative justice, and people want to get it. So if this is there, then uh, very welcome to broaden this field, to do research into what kind of methods are available, what out of the global toolkit of conflict transformation can be applied for our concrete uh, challenges. And uh, therefore I'm very excited and I also feel very privileged that I have been invited to come to this country and give 
um, the first lectures and teach the first models in this program and also contribute to the development of the curriculum and help to install uh, this whole thing because I'm convinced that this has an enormous future. The dynamics, having taught now two models here in this program, the dynamics in the classrooms uh, are incredible and this for sure does not only refer to the few people compared to the whole population who are here, but uh, that there is really the interest there, it is the right moment to do such a thing. And uh, therefore, I hope that this will disseminate very fast, but this is not an, just an, a, a nice wish, this is not an empty hope from my side, but I'm sure and that this will happen because I can see the signals everywhere in the society, wherever I look. So I'm looking forward to return one day and see uh, either the same or a very similar program in Sao Paulo, in Rio, and maybe in Manaus and in other places of the uh, country. And uh, I wish you all the best uh, on this way, and I know that you will make it. Good.